hello lovely people welcome back to my channel this is mariam edibles today we are making wagashi this is ghanaian popular street food and specifically from zongo communities if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please click the red button and be part of this family so without much i do let's get into the video and make our wagashi in a pan, I pour in my fresh hot cow milk. I bought my milk this morning from a flanny man and I'll be using one liter for this recipe. I'm just going ahead to stir my milk from low to medium heat so that it doesn't burn, okay? I don't have thermometer so I'll be using finger testing so when it gets to a point that your finger cannot tolerate the heat anymore that means that it's ready to add your vinegar or whatever that you'll be using okay but I'll be using vinegar oops it's super hot I guess it's okay so this is the vinegar that I'm gonna use so I'll pour 100 ml into a small container and gently add it to the mug. Remember at this point I have turned off my heat, okay? Gently add it to the mug. There you go. So simple. Then after that I'll give it a quick stir, gentle one of course. Voila. and then cover it up and allow the milk and the vinegar to do their magic oh my god you can see that the curd has already separated itself from the whey at this point it's ready we can go ahead and strain this okay and one big secret about this our local cheese and mozzarella cheese is that when you overstir this, it will turn into mozzarella cheese, okay? So take note, this wagashi doesn't want too much stir. So I'll be using this cheese cloth or chiffon cloth, whatever you call it. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to use to strain my mouth. For the Fulani women, they don't use cheesecloth. What they use is their strainer. They pour the whole thing into a strainer and they leave it till the last drop comes out. They have time, but I really want to wrap things up. So that is why I am using this cheesecloth to help fasten the drainage, okay? There are so many ways of making wagashi. This is one of the ways you can make wagashi. There's also another way that you can make wagashi. Some use um, a certain type of leaf. I don't even know the name, but I'll find out. Oh, it's super hot. <laughs> I'm just trying to squeeze it, but it's too hot. Another difference between this, our local cheese and mozzarella cheese is that this Ghanaian local cheese can be fried, okay? But mozzarella cheese cannot be fried, it will melt in the oil. So you cannot fry mozzarella cheese. So when your mug is on fire and the curd start to form, if you keep on stirring and stirring and stirring, it will turn into mozzarella cheese and at that point you can only use it for something like pizza but you cannot fry it okay so take note i'm going to transfer the whey back into the pan we are going to use this later okay so for now let's set this aside I'm just trying to find a way to fasten the drainage. I can see some drop drops, water coming out. So I want to put this on it. It doesn't have too much weight, but 
acting is okay, so I'll just look around and browse, get something and add it to it. Okay, this is what I found. Now, let's check on our cheese. Oh, I guess it's, it's okay now, it's ready. Wow, can you see that? It's gorgeous, it looks beautiful. I love Wagashi. I was born and bred in Songo community, so Wagashi is something that I am fond of. So nice. So I'm just cutting into smaller pieces and then season it small and then fry it. So now the whey is back on fire and I'm now seasoning it with salt. So I'll just go ahead and stir everything together. Now I'm back to finger testing. Oops, it's hot so now I can turn off the heat. And then put my wagashi back into the whey. And now remove it from the way. If it keeps long in the way, it's gonna melt. Okay? And we don't want that to happen. It's fryer time and let's fry our wagashi. Oh, the aroma here. Oh my god, you are all invited. I can't tell it all. It's ready. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Mmm, it's serving time and you are all invited once again. So, I am going to match it with my hot pepper sauce. This is how we enjoy our wagashi here in Ghana, specifically in Tichimai, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and give your girl a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave your comment at the comment section below. Until I see you on my next video, stay blessed and much love. Kansamita!